Why are Juma No, 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 while she was doing the interview, you know, this macho man just walked in and demanded his money from her. Now, there are two sides to this story. And there are two sides to this story. And you know how we do it on this channel, you no? Know? We dissect both sides of the story. We look at things from both perspectives. And I have the food just for you. I'm the headless YouTuber. This is headless reaction. So, let's hear it. Yanka! Sophia has a new song. Yes, the title is Asordin featuring Kwame Eugene. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, the title is Asordin. I did a reaction video to it. This is it. The link is in the description. You can watch it right after this video. And it, so while she is, she is a, pro, promoting her song, no? she has gone to Accra FM to do an interview to promote the song, a promotional interview. And while they were doing the interview, this macho man, macho man, who, and yet, maybe they are slim macho you. <laughs> a macho man walked into the studio of Accra FM while Sustafia was doing an interview, demanding for money that he has done some work for them and he has not been paid. He has done some security job and he has not been paid. Now, <laughs> right now, no, this thing can be true it can be false because ghana music industry there <laughs> anything goes <laughs> anything goes this thing can be true it can be false there are two perspectives to this and we'll check out these two perspectives but watch this video why are you mom the money is not coming. Oh, now I have more now, Baba Duncan. So many of you, me who know. So the right place is just the station of Frank Cardin. So, but all the people. But hey. No. Ah, please, please, please. Ah, see, Sophia, do you know him? No. You know him. But all the people. I couldn't even know. The video. But all the people. No, let's have a look at it. Hey. Ah. Hey, where there? Hey, that's you. That's you. Me ba, me ba, hold on, hold on. Eugene, I thought reception is knowing because I don't know where. Eh? Uh, sister, you know? Never, never met him. Ah, but also, also, what, 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 um, so Sophia's manager is saying maybe they went for an event and the guy willingly joined them to, you know, for security. He willingly joined them and now he's expecting payment. That is what the manager is saying. But let's look at this from the two perspectives. Perspective number one. This could be a publicity stunt. Because we know how Ghana is. No matter what, if you release a song, you have to do a publicity stunt so that people talk about you and it will fly or so the same boring antics this could be a publicity stunt it could be real too we'll get to that later but now let's look at this as a publicity stunt how how is this beneficial to uh, sister fia's brand i mean i'm talking about it yes we, a few people will talk about it but at the end the is saying this a um artist should should move away from this publicity stunt kind of things now let's look at it from another uh, perspective of it not being a publicity stunt and it being actually something serious. If this is serious and this is true, 
then Accra FM needs to beef up their security because they just put Sister Fia's life in danger. They just put her life in danger. How can somebody walk into your radio station straight into the studio to demand for payment from somebody? So if the person had come to harm her or harm the, the radio presenter or anybody else, free. So uh, the radio station, no? Mugit, more reception, where just, uh, the man just walked through. I don't know what he told the man, the security at the gate, the reception, I don't know. But at the end of the day, no, the guy has ended up in your studio. And if this is actually something that is true, if this is true, then it means Ghana here, no, we joke with security. We joke with security and safety. How is this even happening? So if this guy had come with a, a weapon, and you've not paid me pain, not the Bibia Bonitia, free of charge. At the end of the day, where did it happen? Accra FM premises. This man was just allowed to enter the studio. And look at him. He can beat everybody in the studio and walk away. <laughs> this man can beat everybody in the studio and walk away. Sister Fia claims she doesn't know him. Sister Fia's manager claims he doesn't know him. And he said, no, both of you don't know him and he's coming to take his money from you. How is this possible? What job has he done for you and both of you are saying say you don't know him? And all this is, if it is true, if this is not a publicity stunt, then this is a very dangerous situation that Sister Fia was put in. And Accra FM should be held accountable for this. Because if someone should come to your house, you owe the person safety. You need to provide safety for the person. And if you can't provide this simple thing called safety, security, and someone can walk into your radio station, oh, it's not. Those days, if, um, if they want to do coup d'etat, they go to radio station. And those days, it was only GTV, eh? uh, GBC. Uh, GBC was the only uh, station, nationwide station, uh, the only station around. So if they want to do a coup d'etat, the first place they go is to capture the broadcasting, uh, you know, cease communication. And if they're able to cease communication, then they can now go and declare on air for everybody to hear, we have taken over the country. Because of that, you know, even today, today, if you are going to a GBC, you will meet a, a soldier, a, a, a kind of blockade, and a barricade. You will meet a, an army barricade over there. That is how you, you need to secure a radio station. So now I say radio stations are about anybody can walk into radio station. Kwame Eugene's look alike just walked into radio station. Kiddies look alike just walked into TV station. Now you can walk into any TV station and any radio station. Imagine say this man was actually coming to harm Sister Fia. Now I now I just said Sister Fia, she's hurt, she's in the hospital. Now I then. And all this is if it is true. And if it is true, uh, how are they denying a, the man? Saying that they don't know him. I can't walk to somebody and say, what oh, the meka, you owe me when the person doesn't even know me. Am I mad or I'm shooting a prank YouTube video? Huh? But that's if this is real. And if this is just a prank, then we are tired, hey, you're burning pranking. If you want to promote your song, promote your song. Let the, your craft, let your talent sell you. No need for publicity stunts and, um, your friend is saying, Yes, no need for all this publicity stunts. I won't be here. Because at the end of the day, you know, it is your craft that you are selling. So I know, be quite a publicity stunt and he ended up in anchor for. This is the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can check it out if you want. But this is what is happening. So now there are two perspectives to this. And we'll keep digging and definitely more stories will come out. But the first story that has come out, Nini, that a macho man has gone into a cry of him while Sister Fia was having an interview. And he is demanding for payment. 
So Stefia claims he, he she doesn't know him. So Stefia's manager claims he doesn't know him. And how that man got into the studio there, only God knows. By the end of the day, you know, if there's any extra information, you will get it here. Anne, tell somebody about Headless YouTuber. Subscribe to this channel, Road to 20K. And I don't know. Yeah, then. Yeah,